Hello everybody, welcome back to my show. Today I'm going to show you how to create an Android dictionary that now we are standing in step 7 that we are going to working with actually that the best. So in this step I'm going to separate it in main three part. Okay? So now we are standing here. So I separate it in three part. First, we are going to create a database structure. Second, we are going to change UI to apply with the database structure. So we are, uh, what we are going to do in this part. So I will show you in my demo app here. So I'm going to click letter A. So it will show this layout on the top. So we are going to add this layout in our UI. And also with bookmark, it will replace this layout with search layout. So we are going to change this too, okay? So everything that I tell you before is in step two. So and the next step in step three, in part three, I'm going to apply my database structure with my UI that I change. Okay, so now let's step in step one that we are going to create the database structure. Okay, before before we start, we must have an actualized studio, or you have, or you can use under application such a actualized browser or something. So I already have for this actualized studio. So for this application, you just go to get it from the internet. It is a free application. So now I will demo you how to use this app. First. I need a database, so I just hit this to add a new database. So I just add this to to save my database location file. So I just call my dig test. Okay, I'm going to put it db2. So I put it in my document. I save this file. So I hit OK. So it will generate this database for me. So with this blank table, I need to create a new table. Just right click on table and create table. So I just put TBL test. Okay. So now if I need a column, I just hit this to add column. So I put my column name. I'm going to call ID. I put it in the year. So for this, I put it with primary. I'm going to set it auto increment. So I just hit this and apply. Then OK. So if I need other one, just hit this and I'm going to put it value. So just put the type. I put it watch and hit OK. And after that, don't forget to apply. So when you apply, the table will generate for you. OK, it's here. So if I want to entry data in this table, I just go here, data. So now I need to entry my data. I just hit this button to add a new row. So I just put number one, or I put value one, and hit this to apply. So it will insert, it will entry this row into table. Okay, so this is for how to get at and working with actualize database in actualize studio. So in my case, I don't need that this database because I already exist with mine. So I will view this. Okay, so in my dictionary, in my case, I have four table with bookmark English my four. Dictionary English Khmer, Khmer English for Dictionary Khmer English and Table Khmer Khmer for Dictionary Khmer and Khmer. So why I separate this type of table in three part? Cause of this this type is have the same column name. So because if I put it in one table, it will it's real hard for me to query how especially is is we make uh, my query data slow so if i separate it in different table it's make me query my data faster okay 
and for this one is bookmark so for this bookmark I create key so let's view this so I'm not should put this table I should call it value text no need this and it's okay okay so this this is key that's put the word and this value is put translate word so for this column I put it with primary key so because of this type of this dictionary command and command so is we have a um, duplicate key value okay so I decide to put these two of two type of column with primary key so you can use the other one col other column to put it primary key by call it ID with auto increment okay so I will mention you in this column that so for this that I used to order my bookmark that user save it first okay so for this that I put a default value so I just double click it and I I check for this checkbox default and I'm going to config and I choose and oh sorry and I put this children timestamp so every time that I insert my record into bookmark it will have a default value for column that so I need to get that from my mobile and insert to that column okay so that's it for my bookmark and for this one is for system table okay so it's not mine so this is for our is this is for my table structure so now let's go back so we've I finished for this step so now let's move my database let's move our database to a set folder that it that is in android up uh, android folder okay so now let's go to android studio and i'm going to right click on app i'm go to new and folder and that i'm going to choose asset folder okay and I click finish okay so this is here so now I just go to copy my my database okay so I put this here so this is my dig I'm going to copy it and I'm going to pass it here so now I'm so it in file explorer and go to this asset and pass it here okay so my database is here so now we move to let us see that we are going to create a database module okay database object that we are going to work in our memory in our programming so I'm going to create a new class just right click here add class and I'm going to call it word okay so for this word it is an object that mapping with our with our table so my table English my with key and value so I will create for this object with the same column in my table so I just put public string key so I'm not going to create a getter and setter I put everything here is public you can put it you can create a property with or uh, I should call a getter and setter you can create a getter and setter by by yourself by your coding style so now I just put everything public I need a constructor for this I put a default constructor and other one I need other one constructor with string key string value so for this I'm going to set this dot key equal key this dot value equal value so now I just put on default value everything is string in key. okay so that's it for letter C
So now let's move to letter D that we are going to create a database helper class. Okay. So now I just need another one class. I'm going to create a new class. I'm going to call it DB helper. Okay. For this class, I need to extend it from actual line open helper. So it will provide me to implement these two type of method. So I just hit OK. So now I need another one constructor. So I create on public db helper. So for this, I'm going to open a parameter that call context. So I'm going to put context here. And I need a an, an global variable here. I'm going to put it private context. Okay. Yeah, so for this thing, I'm going to it's need another super. Okay, so I just call it super. So in this super method, it's need me to provide an, uh, some argument. So for this here, I'm going to put contact, and for string name is database name, and closer factory, I'm going to put it null. And version I'm going to put it one. Okay, so now I need to create my database name. So I'm going to put it static final string. I'm going to call it database name. Okay, so for my database name, I'm going to put it my dig db okay so now i need another one static final integer i'm going to call it database version for this database version is necessary for us to integrate a new schema for our database okay so for at this case we are not going to use this version however we need to put this version in the super so now we just put database version here okay so now I got this helper class but it's not enough so I just imagine if my application running the first time so my existing database that i put it in this asset folder is not located in file package in my application so i will go use something in this that dy file explorer so it's here okay so i just running my emulator here so now i just choose this okay so everything every application that install in android dy it will store in this root folder data and go to data and go to package name so for this i have an onco dictionary so this is for mine so this is my database file part so for running first time this folder is not existing in this package so this when the first time I run it, I just create this database and put it here. Okay. So for the first time, we need to move this from asset to this package. So now I need a variable that I'm going to call it public string. No, I should not put it public. I should put it private string. I'm going to call it database location or oh, I should mention you you can see this root folder in your in your device or make sure your device root if your device is not root you can't see this this root folder okay but in in letter is already root okay so don't worry if you you just testing uh, application in emulator is real uh, so you allow you to use this directory okay so now let's go back 
So now I just declare a database location. So now I put it in my data slash data and slash package name. Okay. So now I just get my package name. So I plus contact dot get package name. So I'm not so assign this value here and should do this thing here so I call that the best location equal this and I plus it with the device here okay okay so that's it so my um, contact I should assign this contact to my global rival I'm contact here so I just collect it here. So now I need another variable that I'm going to call it private string that the best full part. Okay. So for my that the best full part, I get it from that the best location and I'm going to plus it with my that the best name. Okay. So that's it. So now we need to check is our database is located in that folder in that this uh this this location. So I'm going to create a method that return type is boolean is existing db. Okay. So now I just need a file. I'm going to call it file equal new file. So now just just what? Okay, just put. I'm going to see how required in this constructor. Okay, so now I just need a string part here. So just put that the best full part. Okay, so now I just call file exist. Okay. I just call file is exist that it return boolean so now I return it directly okay so for my constructor I will make a condition if is existing db equal false it means that the best is not exist so what I'm going to do I'm going to move this file from a set folder to this location so now i need a code that i get it from stack overflow 2 so now i just copy this method and put it below here okay so i just import on class exception import input stream output stream file output stream okay for this method i need a file name okay so for this file name so i just call it first before i say something about this method so if my database not exists in this database folder this database location i'm going to copy it from from a set folder so i just put string file name so for that file name i'm going to put that the best name okay so it needs an io exception i just put the right type okay so uh we will see something that in this uh, this method so this file name we just put here to get it from a set folder okay that file name is mean this file okay that we get from a set folder and get it to output stream so for this file destination part that we go into copy into into our database location so this is a full part okay so this is a destination folder and this is a source 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 folder okay source file and this is um, something stuff code that's move our file to that's copy our file to destination folder okay no! No! Oh! so 
So that's it. That's it for my database helper. So now I let's move to letter E that we are going to create method that working with actual line. So we need a seven query, seven method. First, we are going to query all word from list based on dictionary type. Okay. So now I just go back here. I need earn. So I just call up everything here. So I click. I hold on Control Shift and press minus key. Okay, it's going to call up everything. So now I need a method. I'm going to call it public. So I get a list of string. So I get array list of string. I'm going to call it get word. So I open a constructor that with integer or oh sorry open a parameter with integer I'm going to call it the time. Okay, so now I need a global variable that I'm going to call it public actual lie. So shoot this one actually like that best so I call it MDB okay for this the best so for the first time that we're running here so I'm going to call MDB that I assign from actual line at the best I'm going to call open or create okay so I need a string part so string part I just put my that the best full part here so for cursor factory so i just put in now okay so i need an other one thing that i need a global here so i just put this here i'm going to call it private string i'm going to call tbl english command okay for for this variable is main is store my table name okay so for English my is here so I'm going to put this 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 in here okay just copy it or you can write it directly so now I just duplicate everything just hold on key control and letter D so now this one I need an my my so I just change here my my and for this I'm going to put my English okay yeah that's it so now I need other one so it should bookmark so this is called bookmark okay so now I need on private string column okay key so I just put it key and I need other one is value so for this I'm going to call it value so this thing I'm should put it final so because of I am not going to change this in my my logical code so I just put this final so for this two so I just hold on key R and select for this and going to do this so I'm going to call final here okay so that's it that's it for table structure so now now in here I'm going to create a query I'm going to call it string query that I get from 
update so now let's go back here and I'm go to going to create an actual statement so I'm going to select everything from table English my okay so now I just ex execute it so it will query everything every record from my from my table English command so in this value I just put it with our oh, HTML string okay HTML string so now I just copy thing here from here to put it here okay so now I need to know what is table that I'm going to query from my database so based on this dictionary type I'm going to create another method that public string I'm going to call get table name and put it integer dict type okay so now now I just make a condition if dict type equal resource dot id dot action english my oh sorry my english l if the type equal resource dot id dot action my my in l if the type equal resource dot id dot action english my so now I need another one variable string table name so for this thing here I'm going to call table name equal tbl my English okay and for this one it's the same thing so I just copy copy, copy and change this thing here tbl my my tbl english my and here i'm going to return table name okay so now i get my table name here so i just i just need this i should need a string table name so I get it from this method I put the type here so now I plus it with table name okay so now I get my query and I'm going to call um, db dot raw query okay so for raw query is going to I'll put a cursor okay so now I use this one and I put this query and for string I put it now so now I get a cursor so I just call cursor I'm going to call it result okay so for my result I'm going to loop it so I use while result dot moonet okay so for this thing I need an on array list of string okay so now I just put on source call it source equal new array list okay so I will uh, mention you for this thing here actually uh, you can put this this uh, this return type with array list of word okay with this object word that we create but at my in my case i'm not going to use that word because if i use return with an array list of object word it need me to change my adapter so now i'm go i'm not going to make a complex so i just make it simple and easy to understand so now i just put it on string okay so I'm going to call it source dot add so I add it from 
my result that I get it from from column index okay so I'm sorry I'm shooting your result get string okay get string so I need an index here so if I put this index this zero what is mean is I put is one what is mean so now let's go back here I will show you if I put get get string with with number zero so I will get the value from key if I put it number one I will get result value from column value okay so now if I change the something here that I'm going to put this value and I get key so I just query is again so now if I put get string number zero I will get the value from this column value and I put number one if I, uh, I will get this value from column key okay so it is based on in the column that you query here so now I'm not going to put this this value okay or just make it simple so now okay so now I just uh, go to call this get column name or uh, get column index sorry so I'm going to call get column index based on name so this string I'm going to call column key okay so for this method is going to get the column column index based on column name okay it's mean that if I put column put key here if I put key here it's going to get where is this column key where is the index of the column key okay it's mean like this so I just put this it will get a column index of that 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 key and we'll get this index to put this here okay I hope you will understand this so now I just got the result of this string this value and add it to my source so after this loop I'm going to return my source okay so that's it for for our method that we are working in number one so in number two we are going to query word based on key okay it's mean we query a record of word okay so now let's do it together so now i just go to create another one that i'm going to create under the type of my method is word it's going to call get word so now I need on string key and I need an integer dict type okay so now I just uh, so I need to format this code to first so now I need this value so dict type so what's wrong is don't have letter T ah I forget E oh okay so now I just put letter E here and letter E here okay so now I just use this I'm going to write my query here I'm going to select star from table name I'm going to make a condition where my key equal for example, I'm going to put a letter A. So I just execute. It don't have key for letter A. And so now, of a uh, capital letter A. Yeah. So it should like this. Okay. So now I don't need capital. I'm going to use it uh, upper 
okay upper and for this I'm going to convert it to upper too okay so however I import a small letter it's going to quality is for me too so now just copy this and replace this thing here so now I don't need this one so I just put on string first and go in to put this here so for my table name I'm going to put a variable table name that I get from here and key and while you here and go into put this in here okay so I will make an, an question mark sign and I'm going to replace this string argument here that in this we require an array of strings so now I create a new string actually you can we can put a value that get from here directly so now i'm not going to put it directly here i'm going to put it as parameter here so now i just need a key so for my value that in here is we get from here okay yeah that's it so now i just get a result so for my result I need a variable that I'm going to call it word word equal new word okay so for here I'm going to call my word so now I don't need this in here so I'm going to call word dot key equal this and word I need to duplicate this word dot value and for this I'm going to get from column value okay so now I just return my word okay so I need to format my code I just hold on key control and R and I press letter L okay it's going to format my code so now it's finished for number two so now let's move to number three insert word to bookmark okay so now i need another method i'm going to call it public y and bookmark okay so for this i'm going to put what okay so now I need a string query here so I just get it here and go into write a query insert into table bookmark okay insert into bookmark okay there's i put value here that is key and value okay so i put it with value there's key i'm going to put it letter a and i'm going to put it one two three so just for example so now let's execute this oh while you and forget letter s so just execute again my dictable bookmark not has column value so what's wrong table oh i'm not apply for bookmark okay so i just hit apply okay and let's go back to my actual and execute this game okay it's here my record is insert so now let's view it okay so it's here so it's we're going to get 
uh, that automatically. So now let's go back to actual statement and get it here. Okay, so now I just copy it and put it here. So now for my key, I'm going to get it. So actually, you can put it directly. Okay, so now I just put this, call it from plum key. And for this thing, I'm going to get it from what's wrong? Plum value. Okay, and for this value, I'm not going to do like this. I just put a question mark. And for this, I'm going to put a question mark. Okay, so now let's move to this and I'm going to call mdb dot. We are going to call execute query, okay, for insert. So now I just put my query here and I need an object argument that is my parameter in this actual statement. So now I just need a new array of object and I need a word dot key and word dot value okay so that's it that's it so I just see is have return something no okay so now I make a dry cut here So actually, yeah, okay, here it is. So for this actual exception. Actually, we need a um, dry cut every method that we are communicate between program to at the best, okay? So for this thing, just, okay, do nothing what is here so that's it for insert insert value to bookmark okay so now we finish in step 3 so now we move to move to letter 4 remove bookmark okay so I just uh, duplicate this method and go to rename it to remove bookmark so now I just change my actual statement. Okay, so I'm going to delete from table bookmark where key equal letter A. So now I need to use this to uppercase. Okay. And for this is I convert it to upper two and I'm going to put value here. So I'm going to delete letter A and value. So I'm going to put value equal something here. Okay, so now just delete the result, the record that we add, add, add here. So now key is letter A and value 1, 2, 3. So now I just A and value 1, 2, 3. Okay, so now just execute it. Yeah, this is finished. One row is effect. So now let's view our table. Uh, so now just refresh it. Okay, so everything is removed. So now I just copy this query. And back here, I'm going to replace it here. Okay, so key. Just do the same thing on the top method. Column key 
and for this alarm value and for this I'm going to put a question mark and a question mark okay so this is key and this is value okay so this is for remove remove from bookmark next letter number five query all words from bookmark okay so now i'm just duplicate this method so now i need to collab my method okay so now i need to get word from bookmark okay so i don't need dictionary type anymore so I just select star from tbl bookmark okay so I just remove the something here so now so now i need to order it so i just uh, call select star from bookmark so now I order by I'm going to order by that okay by column that descending also oh, I'm wrong with descend descending oh. I'm wrong wrong okay yeah descending so now if I just move this query and put this here Okay, bookmark. So actually, I'm not going to change here. I put it default. Default too. Okay, so query, query. Oh, I forget to test my actual. So now I just execute it first. Okay, it do not have um, anything error, but in my bookmark table, it's empty. So it's not a query anything for me. So I just put my query here, 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 and for my data type of method, I'm going to put its array list or string. Okay. So now, so now, oh, let me see this first. It's my query word from bookmark by key. Okay, so I should put a string. It's right. So for this, I just put key value. So I don't need that. Okay, so now I just put this here. And I need another variable. I'm going to call release of string. I'm going to call it source equal new release okay so now I just put this source dot add this result of string okay so now I just return my source okay so that's it for now for number five so let's move to number six so now we are going to query what Query is word mark. Oh, we just for this this letter says we are just check is this word mark. It means that when our application here, so I just go back. Is here. So my word is not mark. So this is just a outline icon, and if this word is mark so this is with a field icon so for this query is going to check this 
this word is this word is mark or not okay so now I just go back to my code my I, I just create to public void I'm not going to put it void I'm going to put it boolean is word mark okay so now I'm going to I'm going to copy my my code from here so I'm not going to write again I just put this here from oh I need a query so now I just need where okay I should where here where key equal okay if equal something and I make a condition in value equal something okay cause of my bookmark table is unique key with key and value is a primary key so now i must query with with the condition of this column these two of column okay so just we have like this so i just type my query okay it's not error so now i'm going to use this query so okay i put it here so i don't need table name i'm not going to change this bookmark I just put everything is default so query raw query for select statement so I'm going to count this here so if result dot get count okay that count more than zero is mean that the word is marked but it's less than zero or equal zero is mean it's not marked yet okay so I just use like this okay is already for other one method so now let's move next is query word from bookmark by key okay so now let's create another one method so I just duplicate here get word from bookmark okay so now I just use this query okay I'm going to use this Oh, I forget something to my query. Okay. I forget something here. It's mark. I forget to put value here. I'm sorry for that. So now I need a string. So key and string value. Or just put word directly. okay so now I need to change something here I use a question mark here and so for this one is no need like this I just put this and for this just put this too so now I need to change new string so I just put word dot key and word dot value okay I just format it and for this one is get word from bookmark so now I need a string key so 
so okay so for this I um, need a question mark and for this I'm going to return a word so now in this I'm not to do like this I just use wall so I just copy my code from top and put it here and I need a word variable so I'm going to call it word equal new word okay so now I just put word dot key equal to this okay I just copy it from top and duplicate it and I'm going to put its value and I'm going to put it column value and I'm going to return my my word okay so what's wrong get word from bookmark wow oh okay so now i just get all word okay it's not going to overload my method because i use the same parameter okay so that's it for letters when okay so now i'm going to finish my video here because uh it's it's made it too long enough it's make me uh we, we should uh, relax uh, five minutes before uh start a new video uh, okay so thank you for watching see you on next video bye bye